BPH is a sugar problem. Yes, you heard me right. Benign prostatic hyperplasia is a sugar problem. Please allow me to explain. My name is Dr. Enin, doctorate pharmacist and a functional medicine doctor. And again, welcome to the channel. Today, I am going to be talking about enlarged prostate, which is what BPH is. BPH or enlarged prostate is a sugar problem. Yes, I said it is a sugar problem. So let's dive in. You see, it's been postulated that enlarged prostate is because of testosterone or the powerful form called the DHT. And I disagree 100% with that because if that was the case, all 18 year olds will have prostate enlargement and why is that so because 18 year olds are the ones with high levels of testosterone enlarged prostate is by far a sugar related event yes anytime we consume carbohydrates and we increase our levels of sugar we cause insulin to rise and chronically eating the high carb meals will cause us to have insulin problem high levels of insulin or insulin resistance or hyperinsulinemia hyperinsulinemia is the hormone that causes prostate to enlarge usually we will see prostate enlargement in men over 50 men with belly fat and the list goes on these are some of the risk factors we see in clinical practice now in the presence of insulin there are two things that happens we cause insulin to rise and that in turn causes testosterone to take the estrogenic pathway yes once we have high levels of insulin by way of too much sugar it channels testosterone to convert to estrogen and i did talk about that when i spoke about erectile dysfunction and sugar so anytime we have high levels of insulin we cause testosterone to convert to estrogen so we can also convert testosterone to estrogen with an enzyme called aromatase so in clinical practice we have prescription drugs that are aromatase inhibitors so what it does is it blocks the conversion of testosterone to estrogen one thing that insulin also does is it binds to igf1 receptor which is in the prostate and it causes further growth so insulin or hyperinsulinemia is the biggest driver of prostate enlargement there are other hormones like estrogen and all those things but insulin is the driver is the one that is underneath is the root cause of all this happiness well there are other ways that we can have estrogen like as i did say we have big belly fat and men being obese as one of the reasons why we will have prostate those are all risk factors because once you have a big belly or once you are morbidly obese you have the fat cells producing estrogen but the single driver of all the obesity the big belly fat is because of high levels of insulin so what do we have to do we have to lower our carbohydrate intake once you lower our carbohydrate intake we lower our levels of insulin and keep in mind it is taking you years to cause this problem so it's not a one night fix it's not a one time fix it's something that you have to work on you have to decrease your carbohydrate intake you have to go low on the carbohydrate and that is when i recommend foods like the true green foods because they are premium foods that are very low on the glycemic index your other thing too we want to do is to avoid estrogen alcohol is the biggest driver of estrogen so if you are drinking alcohol, you cause estrogen to rise because really in prostate enlargement, we have the testosterone and estrogen ratio being off because in males, we, have, we want more testosterone and lower estrogen. So when you push up estrogen, testosterone goes down. So we want to avoid things that are estrogenic and alcohol is one of them. Buying food that are not organic. All the pesticides, all the things that are put in there, the glyphosate are all estrogenic. So we want to avoid foods that are estrogenic. One thing that we can also do as far as food to decrease our levels of estrogen is eating cruciferous vegetables and that will be the bok choy that will be the cabbage that will be the cauliflower that will be the broccoli these are foods that will bring estrogen down and of course up our testosterone by way of the ratio so we want to avoid things that are estrogenic and we also want to avoid things that will cause our blood sugar to rise so stay away from the bread the pasta the grains it can be whole grain as much as possible it still will spike your blood sugar and in turn affect your insulin level so we want to cut down the intake or the chronic consumption of foods that will spike your blood sugar so in other words if you 
have prostate enlargement and you have not even been diagnosed with diabetes, you need to behave like a diabetic. Yes, so you cannot do the things that will spike your blood sugar. You have to lay off the carbohydrates, especially the high carbohydrate meals. There are natural things that you can do as far as blocking the aromatics like stinging nettle. They are all good. We have the saw pomelo. We have different kind of herbs that will help. We have prescription drugs that will do that. But those are all symptomatic relief. But the root cause is staying the hell away from carbohydrates. And also keep in mind that this thing did not happen overnight. So it's going to take time for you to bring your insulin levels down and in turn affect your prostate. And yes, you can shrink your prostate once you go on the low carb ketogenic pathway because you will lower your levels of insulin and that will in turn affect the growth of your prostate. I hope this helps. Please don't forget to like, please don't forget to follow and don't forget to share. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe so we can keep this conversation going. I'll see you in the next video.